There has been a lot of activity in the Akabonic Harbor Complex over the past several years in support of habitat restoration and water quality improvement. The topic of water quality is a complex one as there are many contributing factors that could lead to pollution, but luckily there are also many new methods emerging to target and treat our local waters, thus lessening the impacts that excessive nutrients and other pollutants have on these systems. In partnership with the Town of East Hampton Natural Resources Department, we've embarked upon several innovative techniques to address the high nitrogen inputs being experienced in Pussy's Pond and Akabonic Harbor. We've partnered with them to help target the areas of highest inputs. From there, permeable reactive barriers to intercept and treat for nitrogen were installed, in addition to working on various methods of Phragmites removal and habitat restoration in this area. These various groundwater surveys, invasive species removals, and nutrient abatement efforts have been underway since 2014 and are making a positive difference to the health of the harbor, all while serving as a demonstration site for all the innovative pilot projects that are being conducted. Before any of this got started, it was important to learn as much as possible about the contributing factors to the water quality issues being faced in Pussy's Pond and Akabonic Harbor. In order to effectively target the source of nutrient inputs via groundwater, an extensive survey was conducted utilizing a trident probe designed to help identify areas of groundwater influx. CCE's water quality specialist Ron Paulson and his team conducted the survey work. And so we did that survey here of measuring the pore fluids that are the fluids that groundwater is really discharging through. And we did that in the pond, and we also did that in the upper reach of the harbor here. And through that, we were able to identify several areas that had a lot of groundwater discharge with a lot of nitrogen in them, and were having a detrimental effect on the water quality. It was clear that the best way forward was to target these areas of high nitrogen inputs. Guided by the data from the Trident surveys, several innovative water quality and habitat improvement projects were soon underway. Um, I came on with the town in 2016, um, right in the thick of things, and uh, you know we've just been building upon uh, this project with all the different multifaceted techniques that we can use to improve water quality and restore habitat in this area. Uh, so far, everything building together has been really successful. Um, I think these are all different demonstration techniques that we can uh, use in different water bodies around town and um, you know, really make a difference here while we're trying to ultimately attack the major source of water quality pollution in this area, which is wastewater. We also partnered with Akabonic Harbor Protection Committee. Um, they're very involved in um, the environment and uh, they wanted to help us uh, further this investigation down here. So they actually made a sizable contribution, which funded additional Cornell work um, over by the Springs General Store in the Akabonic uh, Harbor area. That funding helped us to move forward with, oh, where we still have a problem on the opposite side there, and we again team with Cornell to do a macroalgae experiment. So on day one of the, the launch of the experiment, uh, we brought all the seaweed down here. I had help from um, the town of East Hampton. A few folks came out and uh, helped me clip the seaweed to the seaweed frames. We had a total of 30 frames and each frame held 25 pieces of seaweed. We started off using mostly gracilaria, um, but we did utilize ulva for the three intertidal frames, being that they would be more likely to be able to withstand the desiccation of being exposed at, at low tide. So the project was successful. We had very good growth of the macroalgae. Um, it basically either doubled or tripled in size over the course of a month. We also had great results in terms of the nitrogen extraction. Um, the most interesting results were the frames that we actually placed within the creek that drains Pussy's Pond, as well as the intertidal frames along the, um, the marsh bank, which were areas that within the Trident report did have the most um, significant amounts of nitrogen within the groundwater. And sure enough, the macroalgae had the highest tissue nitrogen at the end of the experiment at those in, within those frames. So this is all part of a multifaceted approach that the town's taking to um, bring together different techniques from Phragmites removal um, to stormwater remediation through bioswales and buffer establishment uh, to demonstrate everything that we can do now 
what can really make a difference to improve local water quality currently. And then uh, the long range plan would be to incentivize uh, homeowners to upgrade their septic systems to remove that source of nitrogen and bacteria uh, inputting into our water bodies. All of these projects can be expanded to be incorporated into the whole of Akabonic Harbor or have applications in other water bodies around town and on the east end. Thank <laughs> you.